In this part of the Node.js and Drupal application tutorial, we're going to discuss deploying your Drupal and Node.js application to the Acquia Cloud. So previously, we've already went over the prerequisites for the local environment. We set up our local Drupal instance, and we also set up our local Node.js instance. We made sure that both of them were communicating with each other. Now we'll discuss how to deploy the Node.js and Drupal applications to the cloud, and we'll also discuss Node.js environment variables. Back in our tutorials directory, we'll go ahead into the decoupled Node.js directory. From here, we're going to go ahead and add our remote Git repository. We can get this by visiting our Node.js environment. So in our environment, if we pick whichever environment we want to go to, um, they both use the same Git repository. We can copy the Git URL from here. And we'll add that Git repository to our local repository now. Now that it's added, we can go ahead and check out a new branch. We can add everything. And then we'll commit. And after we commit, we can push that branch back up to the cloud. Now that it's finished pushing to the cloud, we're going to go ahead and look at pipelines. What we're going to have to do is look at our applications that we have for pipelines and set our application ID for the Node.js application. We could do a pipelines list application. This is going to give us all of our environments that have pipelines as an option. So mine is going to be ready node Q1. So I can copy the application ID. And then I'll set that application ID to pipelines. Pipelines set application ID. And the application ID equals the application ID for that environment. Now that the application ID is set, we've pushed our code up to the Aquia Cloud, we could go ahead and start pipelines. It's going to tell us that we're building based on the decoupled JS branch, and it gives us our job ID. The first part of this job ID is what we'll display in the Aquia Cloud for pipelines. So if we go back to our Aquia Cloud environment, we go to pipelines. We can see this job ID here with the branch, and we can see that it's currently building. So while that is building, we'll go ahead and move forward with deploying our Drupal application to the cloud. So we're going to go and have to add a Git repository for the Aquia Cloud to our Drupal application as well. So we could go to our Drupal application. If we go into one of the environments, we can get our Git repository URL again. Go back to our terminal. 
and we'll go into our Drupal application that we built. Once again, from here, we can go ahead and create a branch, push the branch. I will push the branch back to the Aquia Cloud. From here, we can push uh, a pipeline's job as well. But before we do that, we'll have to set the application ID for this environment. So we'll use the pipelines list application again. We can get the application for that environment. And we'll go ahead and set the application ID again. Pipelines set application ID. Now that pipelines has been set, we can start the pipeline's job for this. We can see again that we're on the decouple Drupal and our job ID. So if we go back into our application here and we go to pipelines, We can see that our job is being started to build and it's on the decoupled Drupal branch. Pipelines is going to push your code. We have not pushed our database yet, so we're going to have to go ahead and push our database up to the Aqua Cloud as well. If we go into the doc root, from here we can go ahead and run a drush command to dump our SQL. We'll do a drush, and then we're going to use the alias we previously used, the decoupled local. We'll do a SQL dump, and we'll go ahead and zip this as well. And then we'll set the result file. And I'm going to put it down one directory. We went ahead and dumped our database. So now we can go ahead and transfer our database to the Aquia Cloud. So we're going to go ahead and use SCP command. And I'm going to specify my key. Tell it the file we're going to transfer. And which server are we going to connect to? So we can go back to our cloud, and if we go to our environment, right below the git URL we have the SSH URL, so we can copy this. And then tell it where to place the file. So we're going to place the file into our file system. Now that the file has been transferred, we'll go ahead and connect through SSH to the server. This puts us into our file system. We're going to need to choose which directory we want to go into. Since we're working on dev, we're going to go ahead into the dev environment.
and we placed it into the import folder. And we can see we have our decoupled DB database here. So we can go ahead and use Drush to import this. We're going to use a site alias. So importing it to my subscription dev environment, AHDB import. And if you have a database already in the system, you're going to have to go ahead and tell it to drop and force this. So I'll go ahead and tell it to drop and force the import. Okay, my database imported successfully, so I'll go ahead and exit out of the SSH. And we can go ahead and check on our pipelines jobs now. The Drupal application is still building. The Node.js application has completed. We see that the status has the check mark. So what we could do is we'll go back to our environment. We're going to go ahead and set an environment variable. So if we go into our dev environment, variables. In this section, you're allowed to have environment variables. So I have one for endpoint API. I have removed this and we'll add a new one for the endpoint API. And the value for the endpoint API is going to be the domain of where you're pointing to. So for me, I'm pointing the site to, you know, my environment dev.prod.aquiasites.com. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as a value. You'll want to wait for this to actually complete. And I did see that in pipelines, the Drupal application did also complete. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and on the environment, we're going to deploy that code. Um, so we'll switch to our pipelines build to couple of Drupal. And then on our Node.js application, we're also going to go ahead and switch. We're going to switch it to the same build that we previously used. So it's the decoupled JS. And we'll switch to that. You're going to need to wait for the code execution to complete for both your Drupal application and your Node.js application. So it looks like it's everything's complete for our Node.js application. We've added the environment variable and we've deployed our artifact. Once it, everything's complete, we can visit our domain for our Node.js application. And we can see that now it is pulling everything from our Drupal application from the Aquia Cloud. So we can see now I'm on my Aquia Cloud site's URL.
that completes the tutorial with deploying a Drupal application and Node.js application to the Aquia Cloud.